welcome to MATLAB Programming for Numerical Computations. We are in the last lecture of module 2. In this module, we are covering errors and approximations. In this lecture, lecture 2.4, we are going to cover what is known as stepwise methods. In stepwise methods, we start with a certain initial condition and in multiple steps go on from that initial condition to a final point. The errors that come in in stepwise method accumulate from one step to another and we get a certain way in which these errors propagate. This is what we are going to cover in today's lecture. Let's consider the Taylor series, Taylor series itself which in lecture 2.2 we had used to derive the Maclaurin series expansion of e to the power 0.1. In that lecture, we considered approximating e to the power 0 0.1 in a single step. In this case, we are going to take multiple steps. That means we start with e to the power 0, then go to e to the power 0 plus h, e to the power 2h, e to the power 3h and so on up to e to the power nh. We take multiple steps in order to go from 0 to 0 0.1. For example, if we were to use the Taylor series expansion 10 times, starting with a equal to 0 and h equal to 0 0.01, what we are going to get is as follows. So e to the power 0 0.01 is going to be 1 multiplied by 1 plus h. Why do we get that? Is because using the Taylor series expansion e to the power x plus h is f of x, which is e to the power x plus h multiplied by f dash of x. Therefore, e to the power 0.01 is 1 multiplied by 1 plus h. e to the power 0.02 is this value e to the power 0.01 multiplied by 1 plus h. e to the power 0.03 is e to the power 0.02 multiplied by 1 plus h and so on and so forth. So at each time, the new exp value at the next point is going to be the exp value multiplied by 1 plus h. Let's do this in MATLAB. New script called multi-step exp. Calculate e to the power 0 0.1 using multiple steps of Taylor's series. Okay, a equal to 0 0.1, h equal to 0 0.01, n, the number of steps are going to be nothing but a divided by h, okay, and the true val is nothing but exp, exp of a. problem set up multi step computation okay we will have to use for loop for i going from 1 to n because we are going to uh, to go from e to the power 0 to e to the power 0 0.1 in n steps so therefore we have for i equal to 1 to n exp val is equal to exp val multiplied by 1 plus h. Remember that is what we had said when we do, did this in MATLAB. At each time the new exp val is the previous exp val multiplied by 1 plus h. Okay, And we write this end. Calculate error and display. So let us say calculate true error and display ERR equal to ABS value of true val minus EXP. When we run this, we are going, we are likely to get an error. So just take a couple of, uh, I'll just pause for a couple of seconds. You can pause this video. You can look at this code and think about or write down why do you think we are going to get an error. Okay. So let me save this and run this. And let's see what we what error we get. Okay, we got an error. Can you think of what error it might be? 
undefined function or variable exp value. Remember in the previous lecture that is the error we had obtained also. Why? Is because we have not initialized our exp value. What should our exp value be initialized at? Let's go back to PowerPoint and see. We start with e to the power 0. e to the power 0 or anything to the power 0 we know is equal to 1. So let's start with exp val equal to 1. So that's our starting point and with this starting point when we let this run we are going to get our error is 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power minus 4. That's what we get when our h was 0.01. If we decrease the age to 0 0.001 and run this, the error is going to decrease. The error goes from 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power minus 4 to 5.5 .5 into 10 to the power minus 5. So it decreases by a factor of 10. If we were to change this to let's say h equal to 0 0.1 and run this code, the error from this point has increased by a factor of 10. When we increase the step size by a factor of 10, the error increases by a factor of 10. When we decrease the step size by a factor of 10, the error decreases by a factor of 10. What do we mean by all this? What we mean is that the order of accuracy of this method is h to the power 1. That's what we have seen in the previous couple of lectures. That's the definition of that's how we understand order of accuracy of this method. So if we were to retain a single term of Taylor series, the order of accuracy is going to be equal to h to the power 1. What we are going to do is we are going to convert this script that we have obtained into a function and that function we are going to call multiple times with different step sizes. What I mean by that is this is the function usually contains the core of sorry the core of the computation which is this part the input and output are often placed in a separate script that's what we usually do in larger programs and that's what you are very likely to do in the most of the assignment submissions that you are going to do for this particular course so let's try and do that so what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, sorry we are going to modify this multiple step exp into a function that function will take as inputs it will take the value of a and the value of h that means the the, uh, the final point and the step size that we are going to take in order to reach, reach the final point and it will retain the exp val at the final point okay and all the input and output things we are going to move that to a script so let's call edit let's call that at script exp results okay to understand errors in multi step methods this script to understand scripts and functions are written in in MATLAB projects. What I mean by projects is if you have a large project that you need to deliver then how we write scripts and functions. So we will as I had said in uh, lecture 1.1 in large projects we will have one single script that script is going to be the driver script and everything else will be put in functions. Okay. So the problem setup is going to be moved from here to the script problem setup okay now this we are going to convert it into a function function okay the ex uh, the result that we want is exp val equal to multi step okay the name of the function should be the same as the file name multi step exp and the inputs for this are the final point a and the step size in which we are going to reach a okay okay now what we need over here is to calculate n also 
okay so n is going to be equal to a by h as we had done earlier the outputs should not should not be over here the outputs should be moved to the calling function uh, to the sorry to the calling script so we have moved this to the calling script and now the final thing that we need to do is we need to call this function that will compute the result for us that function is going to be now exp val is going to be multi step exp a comma h and we do not need the computation of n over here because n is not used at all computing using multi step exp method okay so this is what we have so let's save this okay run this the script exp results with 0 0.1 we got 0 0.0052 as the error if we were to change this we will get this 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 and if we were going to change this further we are again now going to get 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 exactly as we have got before okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this script file in order to find out how the overall error varies with step size so we are going to run this for multiple step sizes not just for a single step size for i equal to 1 2 3 h is going to be equal to 10 to the power minus i remember this is what we had done in the previous lecture also exp val is uh, this guy and we will move this error also inside the loop error equal to abs of true val minus exp val that has also we have moved it over here I have put a semicolon in front of it so that we don't need to display this okay and we need to store these uh, these values h all we want to store that to, uh, we are going to use that vector to store h err all we want to store that uh, we use that to store our errors and instead of calculate error and display we will say plot error versus step size okay and what i'll do is log log h all and all as a blue colored line okay so let's see what happens we actually don't need this h because this h is defined over here so we can delete this let's clear all and let's run the script okay so this is how the error decreases with step size it's a linear line with slope equal to 1 okay now instead of single term if we had two terms of the Taylor series expansion our results are going to change a little bit okay e to the power 0 0.01 is going to be the initial guy multiplied by 1 plus h plus half h squared this additional term comes in now next exp val is going to be the old exp val again multiplied by instead of 1 plus h over here it's going to be 1 plus h plus 0 0.5 h squared so in order to do this all we need to do is to go to this multi-step exp and add this plus 0 0.5 multiplied by h squared and save this okay don't forget to save this because if you don't save it we are going to get the same results as we had before so now when we run this we would have run this for two terms in the taylor series expansion the first order term as well as the second order term what we want to do is we want to uh, dotted sorry dash red color line with square symbols let's save this we need to do one more thing we need to type hold on when we type hold on the earlier plot will be held if we don't type hold on the earlier plot will be overwritten in matlab okay so let's and we have gotten those results 
and let's look at the error graph. So now when we see the error graph, this is what the results look like when we have two terms of the Taylor series expansion retained. Okay, so let's actually look at what these uh, error values are, ERR all, let's just print, ERR all at each step decreases by two orders of magnitude. This is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus four. It goes to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus six, and it will go to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus eight. So let's try this, ERR all three is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus eight. So what we see is every time we decrease the step size by a factor of 10, the error decreases by a factor of 100, which means that the method is h to the power 2 accurate when we retain two terms in the Taylor series expansion. So let us summarize the results that we have gotten so far. What we have seen in multi-step uh, Taylor series expansion is it's not a local truncation error, but it is global truncation error. The global truncation error comes in because f of a plus 2h is affected by f of the error that was there in f of a plus h as well as it is affected by the error inherent in the single step. So there is accumulation of error that happens when we go from 0 0.01, 0 0.01 to 0 0.02, 0 0.02 to 0 0.03, so on and so forth. So the error keeps adding up at each and every instance. And that's why the global truncation error is usually greater than the local truncation error. But the way global truncation error behaves is slightly different than the way local truncation error behaves. The local truncation error, if it is n plus 1 order accurate, through the global truncation error, it would be nth order accurate. Okay? If you did not really understand or grasp this point, I would suggest you don't worry about it. However, I am presenting this to you because in the rest of the lectures, I am going to bring up the term local truncation errors and global truncation errors and I just want to put the context in, uh, in today's lecture. Okay, So again, to recap, the main aspect of what we have learned in today's lecture is how to go, how to use multi-step methods and how to convert script into functions and run that function multiple times so that we can get the trends how the ch error changes with these step size. With that, I come to the end of lecture 2.4. So to summarize the module 2, what we started off is we talked about machine precision which is nothing but least count of uh, any computer. We defined two errors. The true error is the difference between x true and xi, the current guess of, of the numerical technique. We use these two errors to analyze errors and approximations in this particular module to understand what we mean by truncation errors, round of errors and error propagation. That's the context in which we use the term true error. We use the term current approximation error in order to decide when to stop the iterative method. When EI fell below a certain threshold, certain tolerance value, that's when we said that we will exit the while loop. That's what we did in lecture 2.3. Finally, to summarize the various type of methods that we are going to encounter in modules 3 to 8 are the direct methods. We directly apply the set of formulas or set of expressions that we have derived and obtain the result in a direct method. In iterative method, we have set of formulas or set of expression, expressions that we will do this, we will apply this in an iterative manner again and again till the difference between xi plus 1 and xi falls below a certain threshold. And finally, in today's lecture, we saw stepwise method and we took example of multi-step Taylor series where we use the multi-step Taylor series again and again until we reach the final destination starting from an initial point. So with that, I come to the end of lecture 2.4 and indeed to the end of module 2. I will see you in the next module. Thank you and goodbye.